Welcome to Good Mythical More. I, I hope you don't mind, but we're just gonna be trying on glasses. You can let us know in the comments what you like. I could always use a fresh pair, and uh, after your performance today, I think you might need some. Well, I hope you don't mind that we're also gonna give away a thousand dollars! I don't mind! To the National Alliance to End Homelessness to aid in their mission to prevent and end homelessness in the United States. They work collaboratively with the public, private, and nonprofit sectors, leading to stronger programs and policies that help homeless individuals and families make positive changes in their lives. Please join us in giving at endhomelessness.org. Thank you for being your mythical best. Yes! 10 years, the celebration continues. So, but but you, that doesn't mean we can't get fresh looks. Fresh looks. Okay, so oh, we uh, shot and we just we shot a um, a mythical society oh, yeah. exclusive bonus round, and all I'm going to say is that you suffered. I I did suffer, um, and now if I speak in your direction, you well, might suffer. I, my, we both are going to. Mine smells like cod sperm. So oh, which gosh. apparently the correct term is cod milt. Yeah. So, uh, I was told at least three years ago by an optometrist that it was time for me to get glasses, but then the world, you remember what happened with the whole thing? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's life changed a little bit. So, uh, you're so like, maybe, I don't need to see. Maybe this is the year that I do this. <laughs> that's a bit, that's a bit too comedic. You don't wanna be like, I'm a comedian with your glasses, I don't, do you? I, I think that, well, first of all, I mean, this wouldn't work on this set because look, we'd be like, oh, there's a light. They have lights. <laughs> uh, and the other thing is, I don't think you should have glasses that the rim of the top goes above your eyebrow. Doesn't that feel like just a no-no? It, this is just, I don't know why, but I know that this is a no-no. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but like having the eyebrows underneath is, um, is not or, or even you yours do. are yours are basically even. You, the top of your yeah. your glasses, it kind of works for me a little better. Well, you it? know, because it sits lower. On, it, yeah, it actually it sits in the right place on your face. It it drops a little bit, but they're so bulbous. That's why when you look straight, you can see the. Wow, that almost works, man. Okay, well you're gonna wear those, and I'll just start wearing yours. Let's just do that. They're too small. They're your face is wider than mine. It hasn't always been. Can you can you not do that anymore? Because I don't want to stretch my glasses on your face. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that much. Wider. So I don't think those are going to work. But you know, when we first met Paisley, uh, he had big glasses. He, he was crying. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he he had not like these, but he had round glasses. Is he in the room? But I, think, I wonder if he still has those. Those were a good look, Paisley. You should go back to those wherever you are. But they were big round, not little round. I'm interested in those, but you can try them on first. Because I tried to get new glasses over Good Mythical Summer. Glasses sit I higher. wore different glasses, and then I can't, I couldn't stick with them. They kept falling down, and I haven't fixed them to wear. Well, here's an interesting thing that I'm noticing, and I think this is going to impact any glasses selection. First of all, these glasses make my nose look like it's a fake nose that I got at Party City. <laughs> okay. Now that you say that. So, and if you see. I don't think my nose looks like a fake Party City nose just as it sits on my face. There's just, there's a lot, your nose is long and it shortens it. Also, s sit up straight. But you know, what, one of the things that's happening as well is- You gotta, when you're really, you got when you're giving glasses a chance, you really gotta Well, no, but pose. see, gl glasses lodge in a certain spot right there on me, which sends them above, like these are gonna- Look at me. These won't go above your eyebrows like they're doing for me just because of the the relationship of my nose bridge to my eyebrow height. I, I I like these. See, again, this what I'm learning is that it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, there's Paisley's old glasses. And they weren't really that round, they were just big. Yeah, I think, I wonder if you saw this. This, this almost works, like the old lady version of me. This and is they're, gonna, they're uh, green on the side? It's gonna be, the glasses journey for me is gonna be difficult is what I'm learning. I think these are, these could work for me. I think I, you become just about 7% more punchable with those glasses. <laughs> and uh, Did I have that much margin to work no, with? No, that's, that's putting, you're right at the threshold so we do not need to send you over. I, uh, I actually don't think so, man. Just give it a week and you wouldn't be thinking anything of it. Um, okay, this is not gonna work. I'm gonna keep these as a candidate. Now I just look like I want to do an experiment. <clears throat> if you like these on me, Say green, oh, they're, see, they're only green on the inside. They're 
Let's call these the grandma glasses. Uh, no, no. They're too narrow. Well, they're just, I mean. They're too serious. Well, they don't fit your, I mean, they gotta fit your face first and then you can decide what they say about you, but they don't even fit. Yeah, I think I, I can. I think these will be too narrow for you. Yeah, actually. I think so. Yeah, it puts you. It puts a your... little bit too much. Huh? Maybe not. A little too German villain. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's not... an, there. It's a. It's a hexagon inside of a circle, though. That's that's pretty cool, though, isn't it? I think it's trying. I think it's trying a little pretty, too hard. Yeah. Ain't no shame in trying hard. Now this feels like the secretary on Monsters Inc. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's old. Yeah, it's um, cat eye. It's also uneven, that's or at least it, it emphasizes the unevenness of my own face. That's not gonna work. Reject it that way. Now these for you are more of like an aviator type thing, and I have another one over here I want you to try. Now I would think that I'm this really is- really channeling that. Uh, hi, call me Parker, Warby Parker, not a sponsor. This is the first thing that, if I were to come in, come back from a glasses shot with these, you might not think, oh, you made a good choice, but at least you could, like everything so far has been so far off. Look directly at me. I think I need, I need rims. I, I, They're I, too wide, actually. I, I can't go rimless. They make your eyes look big. Actually, try these. No, they sit too high and they're too small. They might work. Let me try those. I don't, I, I really don't like wire rim. It's like, it, it, it just makes my, my eyebrows disappear entirely. And because I'm so used to having dark rim glasses, you think I have darker eyebrows than I actually have. I really don't. Like, I don't, it looks like I don't have eyebrows. Your eyebrows? Look at my face. Look how blank my face looks the, when I'm like this. The shadow above your eye is going, it's also the angle of the light. Yeah, this that we particular have here. lighting is not Which, flattering for me without glasses. Gives me a stronger brow. So this doesn't work for me, it didn't work for you, but if they just didn't fit, I think. No, I don't, I mean, this is. This is it's not too promising. Try, try these. No way that's gonna work. No way. Do you have any that are like the, well? It just, the, it, it, it makes you look normy. You look like a, you look like you need to work at a desk job. It what about the it ones that have. It doesn't say anything about what you. What about the ones that have like a rim on top, like a horn rim, but then the, there's no frame on the bottom? Do we have any of those? That I might mean, work. Here's a here's kind of a version of my glasses that are green on the bottom. These are gonna be too flat, I think. Yeah, those those don't fit. This looks like your old glasses. Yeah, those don't fit. Like one one set back. I actually think like a deep red like this would work for you, sir. Yeah, this is this is this is not a fun trip to the uh what what do you call the person who Lens crafters, the glasses hut. <laughs> I like the color, but the the fit doesn't work. Like getting a red. You have color, anti. You have anti glare on, don't you? I believe so. It, yeah. I mean, look look at the difference. Like if you didn't have anti glare glasses, it would be a real problem. I've had these glasses for so long. Like the like, I had these glasses with my old haircut. And before that, I had some. Uh, these those don't work. These Let me try those. Hit the eyebrow in the right place. Yeah, they're, they're just basically not, line they're up not with big the eyebrow. Enough. See, they they fit me. I think they're a little narrow, but it's, it's, mm. Mm. I just don't. I don't know if I want to hang out with that guy. Let's see, these. I've saved some good ones for you over here. <laughs> okay, safety goggles. Now, but if you didn't know that these were safety goggles. Give them the, give them the profile. If you. See, look at that, that, it has a whole but shield if you, on if the If you side. look straight at me though, like the shape of, uh, of the, like. Push them up. Potentially a clear glass could work. Push them up like this? No, just like, make them fit. Yeah. 
And just a reminder, we talked about it yesterday, um, but we have a whole docu-series over on the Mythical Society. Uh, it's called Good Mythical Origins, where they, we explore the origins of all types of mythical lore. Um, as you can see, we can't. Rhett's nicknames in high school, uh, the, the history of uh, the dart game, and the T word that makes Rhett do a, you know what he does. How did all that stuff get started and what, does, what do we really feel about them? Um, it's, it's an expose of sorts, mythicalsociety.com. This could be interesting. They're all out now, binge watch them all. This could be interesting. Now we're talking. Everything, now we're everything talking. got bigger. No, there's no arms on those things. Well, it's amazing how much bigger your face gets when I turn towards you because they're just readers. They're armless. Armless this readers. This is what all glasses in the future are going to be. You know why? Because in all the future movies, it is, it's just a bridge nose bridge. How does that work? It kind of just pinches it. Just pinches it. That style is called pince nez. Pince nez. Oh, pince it does. Nez. It, it it pinches it. It just pinches you right there. You kind of forget it's there. My eyes are further so apart strange. than I would if if, if well, you if you had a told me that, if you had a told me to like tell you how far my eyes were apart. These are intriguing. I've been I saving known these that they for were this far apart. These these are crazy. Two different types of glasses in one. Put these on. I wouldn't do something like this. It's kind of like. Dad's trying to cook up flubber in the basement. Kind of a wacky dude. You know, it's interesting when you go from, like when you look at them here, you're like, oh, those are very different. When you put them on your face, you just think. You're like Two-Face. Am I seeing that person wrong? You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I gotta do a double take to know if there's something wrong with their glasses or something right with their glasses. Th these are gonna be wrong too. You're not really getting anywhere. Nope. No, I got it. I got Getting it. nowhere. Great way to start off the year. Oh. Oh, really? If they hit the eyebrows in the right place and they are the right, di like these actually yeah, fit. They fit correctly. My eyes are in the middle of the you, of the, the spectacle part. You really lowered the bar. Now let's give you some Pacino. All right. Give me your best Pacino impression. What's that? <laughs> Is that a woman I'm smelling? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say is, is that the scent of a woman? <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Man, this is. I, you know what? You need to just get contacts. Man. No, no, man. I. Uh, the funny thing is, is that I've put glasses on on this show before where I was like, oh, I can wear glasses, but none of the ones that, <clears throat> was this a prank? Did you pick all these glasses to yeah. try to make the point that I shouldn't get glasses? I, I just, I don't want, I don't want to compete because with any other glasses wearing person. Your, your glasses look better than any other glasses. Maybe, <laughs> I'll, maybe I'll just get exactly the same pair. Stop wearing my glasses. It's not stretching, don't worry. My eyes are further apart, but my head is not any, it's not, it's not putting any extra pressure oh, on Oh, you're like a hammerhead shark. Yeah. Man. Like legitimately, your glasses look twice as good, three times as good as any of the options that were provided for us. So I guess I just have to get the exact if, same pair. If you like me in these, then I can I can let you use mine in the in the mm. meantime. No, especially with that jacket, man. Somebody's gonna take you around the corner. <laughs> You're never coming back. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, hey, man, I'm I'm me, and I I'm proud of it. Come back tomorrow uh, as we wrap up our 10-year celebration week, all right? Good Mythical Origins explores the true history behind some of our favorite mythical lore. Join to binge all episodes now at mythicalsociety.com.